What happens after Jesus returns? The Millennial Reign. The Millennial Reign, Revelation 20, 4, 6. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus, and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. But the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection, on such the second death hath no power, but they shall be priests of God and of Christ, and shall reign with him a thousand years. Jesus Christ shall reign on earth for a thousand years. There are some theologians who believe that this thousand years is symbolic and not literally a thousand year period. I firmly believe that it is a literal thousand years. The reason being that six times in Revelation 22, 7, the term 1,000 years is explicitly and specifically mentioned. If God wanted to communicate a long period of time, rather than 1,000 years specifically, he could have easily done so without repeatedly mentioning the exact time frame of 1,000 years. Can you imagine 1,000 years with Christ as our ruler? A world with no fear. A world where you will not need to lock your doors at night. A world with the perfect physical and spiritual environment. That is what the Millennial Kingdom will be like. For a thousand years with Jesus as our ruler, there will be peace, complete and utter peace on the earth. Take a moment to ponder what the millennial reign with Christ Jesus will be like and imagine that all the turmoil has come to an end, the conflicts have ceased, and there is no longer any selfishness on the earth. There is no more pain nor sorrow. This is not the temporary and deceitful three and a half years of peace that the Antichrist is foretold to usher during the first period of the Great Tribulation. No, we are beyond that. I want you to see in your mind the revelation given to John in chapter 20. We find in Revelation 20 that God mentions the millennium six times. From verse 2 to verse 7, God says, 1,000 years, 1,000 years, 1,000 years, 1,000 years. And in three of those verses, he refers to this period of time as the thousand years. Can you imagine what the world will be like with Jesus as its ruler for 1,000 years, and the world will finally be in a practical state of utopia because Christ will be reigning. And during this 1,000 years, Satan will be bound. Can you imagine what this 1,000 years with Jesus will be like? It will be a time of peace, a time of joy, and a time of real prosperity for all those on the earth. Just envision, brethren, the jubilant sound of laughter filling the air as the children of God basking in the unprecedented peace, witness the lion and the lamb lying together in harmonious unity. The entire creation is reborn in the magnificent reflection of its creator, declaring the glory of God in every rustle of the leaves and ripple of the waters. And oh, what a divine symphony it will be when the elements no longer groan under the weight of sin, but sing the praises of the King who reigns supreme. The heavens declare his righteousness and every blade of grass dances to the melody of His holiness. The very air breathes out the glory of His presence, saturating the earth with the fragrance of celestial joy. This holy reign is not a transient whisper of utopia, but a robust reality where Christ's justice rolls down like waters and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. The valleys and the mountains echo with the eternal truth that the Lord is good and His mercy endures forever. In this glorious atmosphere, the inhabitants of the earth, stripped of the shadows of sin, dance in the sunlight of divine love. Amazingly, we see in the millennial reign that there will be two groups of people, those with glorified physical bodies and those with natural, earthly bodies. The people with natural bodies who are on earth during this period would have survived the Great Tribulation which should not be taken lightly, as we see in the book of Revelation, large cohorts of the earth's population are killed during the events of the Great Tribulation. Revelation 9.18 By these three plagues, a third of mankind was killed by the fire and the smoke 
and the brimstone which came out of their mouths. So now that the saints are reigning with Jesus on earth, as I stated, there will also be the survivors of the Great Tribulation. And these survivors of the Great Tribulation will see the goodness, righteousness, and holiness of our Lord Jesus Christ. They will experience the 1,000 years with Jesus. What is surprising is that some of these people who will experience this wonderful 1,000 years with Jesus will decide to participate in a rebellion against Jesus once Satan is loosed on the earth at the end of the 1,000-year period. However, today, we are not focusing on that. We today are focusing on how wonderful and how glorious the millennial reign will be. Magnificent things will happen during this period. The prophet Isaiah in Isaiah 11 1 10 saw a glimpse of the 1,000 years and offered a very clear picture of this future for us. Isaiah 11 6 9. The wolf will live with the lamb, the leopard will lie down with the goat, the calf and the lion and the yearling together, and a little child will lead them. The cow will feed with the beer, their young will lie down together, and the leon will eat straw like the ox. The infant will play near the cobra's den, and the young child will put its hand into the viper's nest. They will neither harm nor destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. What is described here is a complete change in the animal kingdom, a time when the very nature of wild animals will be changed. No longer will there be predators among the animals, and it seems that all animals will be herbivores, plant eaters. Not only will the way animals interact with each other change, but the way they interact with humans will also be transformed. A child will walk among animals like wolves, leopards, bears, and lions in safety, with no fear. If I were to be anywhere near a wildcat right now, I would be nervous, folks. Have you ever seen how fast a cheetah is, or how strong a bear is? I would be pretty nervous, but there is coming a time when children will be able to walk peacefully with animals like this. The last phrase in Isaiah states, For the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Can you imagine a world like that? From continent to continent, men are going to know the Lord. From sea to shining sea, men are going to know the Lord. Not only will the animal kingdom be changed, but the state of our lives will also be changed. There will be death on the millennial earth. But in the transformed biology and ecology of the world under the reign of Jesus Christ, people will live incredibly longer, as they did in the days before the flood. I want to introduce the son of Enoch, Methuselah, who is known for being the oldest man in the Bible. He lived to be 969. The Bible tells us that this age will be a normal occurrence for people during this time. We are told that health will improve that much. The millennial reign of the Messiah will be glorious. Isaiah 65, 20. No more shall an infant from there live but a few days, nor an old man who has not fulfilled his days. For the child shall die one hundred years old, but the sinner being one hundred years old shall be accursed. If someone dies during this period at the age of one hundred years old, they are considered a child. Wrap that around your head. This world where Christ will be the ruler will be completely different from this world we live in now. There will be people born in this millennial reign of Christ Jesus, and all they will ever know is the wonderful world with Christ as their ruler. It almost sounds like a dream, doesn't it? It makes you wish that it was here today, doesn't it? All these people will know is a long life growing old with their loved ones. Imagine a world where people know their great-great-great-great-grandparents. Grandparents love their grandchildren. Grandparents absolutely adore their grandchildren. Now imagine being able to see generation after generation of their offspring. Wonderful. That will be possible during the millennial reign because of the lengths of people's lives. It almost sounds like a dream, doesn't it? It makes you wish that it was here today, doesn't it? Aren't you tired of this world and all of its sin, death and destruction? I look forward to living in a world where the Lord Jesus Christ is sitting in Jerusalem on the throne of David, and the joy of the Lord covers the face of the earth. Not only will we be able to live longer and healthier lives, but we will also be able to walk amongst animals we wouldn't go anywhere near today. Society will be safer. Children will be able to play on streets. People won't have to lock their doors. Life will be lived without fear. People will be able to walk home at night with no fear. As a father, 
I have had to speak to my children and warn them about how sick and how mean and ruthless this world is. But during the reign of Christ, this world will be safe. Parents won't need to make such cold but necessary talks to their daughters or sons. Praise God. Praise God. Doesn't that make you wish it was today? Somewhere safe for your children. Even so, come, Lord Jesus Christ. Even so, Lord, come today. Our minds cannot understand the complete, utter bliss we will experience, King Jesus, in his righteous rulership. I praise God for this prophecy. Take hope, brothers and sisters, that we will reign with our Lord and Saviour. In this reality and in front of those who are alive at that time, the kingdom of the Lord will come to earth as it is in heaven for 1,000 years.